I never thought in a million years it would be this. I never seen the signs. A Spokane Valley neighborhood was shut down by a standoff today and is back to normal tonight. Good evening. I'm Aaron Luna. This morning, deputies were called to a domestic violence report in the 2700 block of North Bowdish Road. When they arrived, the man said he was armed and threatened deputies. After several hours, the SWAT team made contact with 42-year-old Kellen Wise and arrested him. Emily Bloom has more. The scene here behind me is clear tonight, but when we arrived this morning, things looked a whole lot different. We were able to talk with a friend of the suspect. She shared her experience with him, and this is what she told us. I'm not sure what happened this time. I don't know if this was the straw that broke the camel's back or just what, but this, this, is, this is a different sign. This is different. Mary, who didn't want to go on camera, told us that Kaylin Weiss has a long history of self-harm. Want to kill himself and just end everything. He's asked for help and there's really nobody that's helped him in probably the 15 years he's asked for help. She told us he had barricaded himself in his apartment with a bomb and was threatening suicide. He's an habitual offender. This isn't his first time. The cops have came out and surrounded his house. Um, due to his mental status. Um, he thinks of suicide a lot. He just wants to leave. He don't because of his two kiddos. He doesn't do it. Mary told us she has a 23 year old daughter with Weiss and he's a single father to two teenagers that she helps parent. I know that there's two kids that live here and that was my first reaction was get to my kids, get to my kids, make sure they're okay. Those kids were at school when this all happened. He will maybe finally get the help, mental help that he needs. Tonight, Mary is encouraging the community to reach out to those who you know are struggling. Just be aware of the people you know, even if they're not your best friends, check in on them, make sure they're mentally okay, especially single parents with kids. Three, two. Weiss faces a felony domestic violence order violation and potentially more charges as this investigation is ongoing. Reporting in the Spokane Valley, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.